welcome to a brand new vlog today is saturday maria left this morning i'm so happy we got a chance to spend some time together because i feel like we haven't spent that kind of quality time together in a really really long time so this was so lovely and she said she came for inspiration and i feel like i'm the one who ended up being so inspired i was already on the wall and just being around her because maria is so talented please be sure to subscribe to her youtube channel it's always linked to my channel so you can find her definitely follow her yeah she's my cousin we are related it was so fun like i said now i'm left even more inspired i'm shooting a content for a brand which is why i have this set on this is from haven well with 10 i love their stuff it's a website that curates everything that has to do with wellness so it's called haven well within everything that you're looking for in terms of wellness you can find it on haven well i absolutely love the full collection because this is going to be so cozy the temperatures have dropped a little bit and i am about to just live in this comfy set i love the contrast between the camo and the cream guys if you're looking for a slipper this fall winter please get these these are just so comfortable not only that they are so chic i could even wear them out but the thing is my house shoes cannot make it outside and vice versa so that's the only reason why i wouldn't wear this outside but a little update for you guys in terms of breast reduction it's been two months since my breast reduction i am feeling maybe two months and a half in two weeks it's going to be three months and i feel like finally my boobs are like getting to be what they will look like and i'm freaking out a little bit because i woke up and i'm just like my boobs are way too big <laughs> like, like if i could have chosen i would have gone for like an a i would have had nothing that was not possible you know because they want to make sure they retain some of the tissues and nerves you know to make sure that you feel things and sensation when I first came out of course i was swollen and then I kind of had to wait on, you know, to see what size they're gonna be. And then at the month mark, they went all the way down. I even freaked out. I'm like, oh, they're too small. And then now it's about to be three months, and I'm just like, no, please go back down. At least I wanted to be a B cup, but I feel like now I'm a C cup, and I'm not sure. I like it, guys. I want to go as small as possible. I'm about to take my clothes off. Well, not really. This is what they're looking like, and I'm just. <laughs> this is too much i did not want this i remember when i went to my doctor i just told her like if you could just remove everything please do it but you know she said she would go as small as she can to the point where she doesn't ruin my nipples and everything like that's the other thing we have to make sure i still have my original nipple i'm freaking out a little bit i really really wish they go down but i did gain a couple of pounds i think which is why i tell you guys if you're having the surgery please go as small as your doctor can without winning your boobs of course because if you gain weight they will go back if you have a child they'll probably go back oh so that is something to keep in mind in terms of having a breast reduction trying to go as small as possible especially for me like I've lived with my boobs for so long. They've just been the bane of my existence. It's just when I was ready to have this done, I was just ready to just have nothing. And I'm just like, let me just be flat chested, like flat, 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 flat. And I'm looking and I'm just like, yeah, like I wish when I put this t-shirt on, it was completely flat. It looks good, obviously like way better than what I had before. I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> I really, really hope they don't get any bigger than that. Like, to be a b cup i am a b cup well i'm gonna keep saying i'm a b cup i'm a b cup i'm a b cup so it will go down like i said i am back to being on my own by myself today what's on the agenda i wanted to actually clean my closet to switch out my clothes but i want to do that with you guys i want you to help me clean out my closet i'm selling some stuff on poshmark it is on daddy chic if you can check it out I do want to swap out my fall winter clothes with my summer clothes i don't even think i even shop for anything this summer while well, i was shopping for my new body for like fall clothing all summer long i was shopping for fall winter because those are like my favorite season to get dressed in the summertime i just find it's way too hot i'm like Ugh, i just don't like it and i know you're probably gonna ask me what do i have on my lips it is koala limpour by citizen cosmetic i line the outer edge with mac 
chestnut my overall lips with max spice so i always line my lips with spice first before i do anything else then i do the outer corners and then i add the lip sequel lol and by citizen cosmetics and then on top i have the victoria beckham gloss and foundation i'm wearing the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation it is time that i go now on the agenda today, I am going to a matter of health to get ginger because I haven't had my ginger shot since Monday. I cannot live without my ginger shot in the morning, but I still do the glutamine powder. I just do it with water, but ginger is the best. The ginger and glutamine are like a lethal combination for your gut health. Heal it, get rid of bloating. It's to the point where before, when I used to go shoot, I couldn't eat anything at all all day because i did not want to look bloated and also i wanted my clothes to fit me and since taking the ginger shot i don't ever have to worry about that now i can actually eat before i go on a shoot and i'm fine crazy like it's done wonders for my gut and my belly i think if i do pilates consistently for like a month or two i will be so fit thing is i don't like to leave my house to go work out and I really love natural Pilates, but the thing is it's, it's in Soho. So it's like a 30 minute train ride for me. I'm gonna go on a nice walk to Central Park because I haven't been just going to the park and just have a little walk. Savoring the last days of summer really because next week is about to be a busy week for me. Traveling next weekend. Maria is so cute. She actually got me some beautiful flowers, some white roses, and also she got me some baby's breath, which is what I have over there. Baby's breath are one of my favorite flowers because they last so long. But what I love about baby's breath, when they are dry, they look even more beautiful for some reason. Oh, my hair, my hair. I can't believe. I think I'm going to be traveling with my hair because it is too late. That's my thing. I always think that I have time. And then the time kind of like sneaks up on me, which is what I've been trying to be very intentional about not doing this year. It's just not letting things kind of like sneak up on me. I want Jeans are air, clogs are from Fit Flop. I love them. So comfy. My mom almost stole them again. T shirt is J. Crew, is a crop tee. I love it. The sweater is from Alex Mill. You could actually wear the sweater two ways. You can button it in the front or you can put it in the back. off the bus now kind of my area because i used to go right here evening i mean it's still early sure not as packed as i would expect it to be
like this ice cream spot. It is called Sodato. It's between 70, 79 and 78. Close up to 78 and first half. I'm gonna take the bus now. It's amazing how much I just hate being outside. <laughs> back home now i almost had a scare as i am doing a story on instagram i heard like something fall in the bedroom and i'm like what in the hell is that i got my knife ready <laughs> i try to open the door ever so slightly just in case turns out my bag fell quickly wanted to show you my banana republic factory order came in you've probably seen me try on this bustier in the store they are such a dream they do one big please size down i don't know what the stores are doing with the sizing it is craziness it's so stunning this is the basic that i'm going to be wearing a lot this is like a knit top you know in the fall time when you want to wear a blazer you know you don't necessarily want to wear a coat yet because it's not too cold yet but you still want a knit something to keep you warm underneath your blazer this is the perfect option for that like i told you in that video it does run quite big size down this is the extra small but i could have gotten the extra extra small see over here this looks stunning i can even do the outfit that i've been doing forever now i've just been obsessed with French chic or old money aesthetic i love this so much it's just so perfect it's just so easy and i can't even wear it like this too yeah this is it this would be like a great option for traveling as well you can pop a blazer over this is perfect to go to work in the fall time guys i also got the brown color this is called coconut and i also got the white again this i could have gotten in the extra small i don't know why i ordered the small maria just made it ooh, ooh. I'm so happy for her. I cannot wait for her to just like come back and kill it because she's just so freaking talented and I just want to see her content. So, and fo guys, follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me. Like, what are you waiting for? Come on, guys. I thought we were friends. Join me on there. And also, okay, guys, next item is here. I actually quite like the fit, although I could have gotten an extra small in this. I am obsessed with this. I don't have anything this color. This is amazing. It even matches my bra top are like my favorite thing to wear at the moment, especially when I'm working from home. And even if you work in the office, this is something you can easily style. You can pop over a blazer. And if you work from home, you could just wear this with just denim like I am doing. That's it. That's all you have to do. This is the white tank, guys. This one fit a little bit more snug, which I love. This has been my uniform as of late because I've always wanted the kind of like of duty model look i feel like this is such an up duty model look a ten top and some jeans and you are good to go never pull it off and the tag i need to throw away the tag i've actually bought this blazer back in february i believe this is in the dessert taupe it's the frankie oversized boyfriend blazer um i bought this when i started switching up my style to more trendy and a little bit more edgy and masculine my style has always been so masculine it's so funny i think because a lot of people found me to like my dresses video they think that used to be my style guys up until two to three years ago i never wore dresses always been like a tomboy dresses skirts those were never my thing I've been a pent girl. It wasn't until when I went to the journey of embracing my femininity that I started to wear dresses. At the end of the day, being feminine, it's more like an energy. It's not necessarily what you wear. Also, I wanted to wear dresses because I had never worn dresses before. I used to for my school uniform. That's different. That's another reason why when I could wear stuff for myself, I only wore pants because i hated wearing a dress for uniform as a child because i was such a tomboy when i started finding dresses that flatters you know my body type bus and before i could never find like dresses that flatter me but once i started understanding my body type finding the right dresses it was just like so easy for me 
to just buy like a bunch of dresses so i went through like the period of two years where i only wore dresses i did not wear pants at all i think a lot of people found me through that period they think that's been my style forever that's never been my style I've always been in pants and suit to go to work everybody in the office will tell you i wore a suit pretty much every day i love cottage core moments to be quite honest because we were in the middle of a panini so nobody was going anywhere everyone was moving away from the city and going to the countryside your location definitely can dictate your style like when i am in new york city i feel a certain way when i'm in mexico city mexico city really really helped me get back into my true style because when i was there all i wanted to wear was kind of like trendy and more like edgy stuff i did not necessarily want to wear the dresses and things like that your location doesn't have to dictate your style but i do find that it does affect how you dress also the thing about new york city neighborhoods i do find matters like if i'm going on the upper east side there are certain looks i wouldn't wear on the upper east side and vice versa there are certain look i wouldn't wear in soho like in, whenever i'm going to soho i want a more edgy look a more trendy because i know that's where all the cool kids are but the upper east side is just more like that upper crest the upper crest upper crest what the hell is that you know the upper east side i just feel like it's just more chic more classy and more elegant so when i go on the upper east side i kind of dress accordingly to that which is cool i think when i go to like hudson yard i do sexy because i feel like a hudson yard is sexy town neighborhoods i feel in new york city play a part on how i dress depends on where i'm going and i've had my youtube channel for 10 years i've had my blog for 10 years so you can go back to my blog and my youtube channel you can actually see how my style has been or evolved i'll catch you guys later when i eat doing a little bit of work as usual it's me all day all night that i'm gonna finish my soup finish uploading this video and go move this makeup i just realized i was holding the tension in my shoulder again this is taking me a little bit of time to like get over but then again it's only been two months since my surgery so i kind of have to give myself some grace because again it's something that i've been doing for so long like literally more than half of my life like holding my shoulders like that because you know off my chest before now that i don't have my chest anymore even uh, maria was telling me because we were like she was taking videos of me she was like you still walk like you have your big boobs and i'm just like i know when your body is used to doing something that it does it better than your mind it's, it's hard to get rid of it that is something that i need to work on on that note good night i will catch you guys tomorrow tomorrow is sunday i'm excited for tomorrow because it's closer to monday you guys know monday is my favorite day ever it's like i just feel mondays is always like a new beginning a new life like when the weekend creeps around i'm just like oh i get not necessarily anxious but i'm not much of a weekend person i'm more of like a monday person like monday i'm just like this is a new chance at life a new beginning and i'm always excited and ready to see what the week has to offer I'll catch you guys okay tomorrow. guys i'm so sorry i am back but i quickly wanted to share this with you i've shared this already on my channel i've actually discovered this brand since back in 2016 2017 they actually sent me a code like over a year ago i don't know if it's still active it's was 20 i'm gonna put it on the screen just in case you guys want to get your hands but if you're looking for like a healthy chocolate i have a sweet tooth again i develop a sweet tooth after traveling to paris when i travel I typically have dessert every day when i lived in mexico i had dessert every day because mexican dessert or chocolate in general the quality is insane the only place i typically don't necessarily like dessert 
is the United States because a lot of the things are crappy. It's just filled with sugar. It's just like there's no substance. Unless I go to a really, really nice restaurant, there is something so amazing, then I'll try it. Other than that, I just stay away from dessert in the States in general. But when I travel anywhere else, I make sure I take advantage and have dessert with every meal. If you are someone who has a sweet tooth like myself, you just want a more healthy chocolate, this is something that you should absolutely check out. I discovered this brand a few years ago, like I said, and this is my favorite one. This is a cashew butter, pure vanilla bean dark chocolate. This has organic 70% cacao. It's vegan, paleo. I mean, although I'm not a vegan, I don't necessarily care for stuff like that. It has no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no dairy, no palm oil. It's just like, I have like all the good stuff. It doesn't have any of the bad stuff. So it's called Hue, like human, like the human, get back to human, um, your kitchen. They actually have a location on the Upper East Side on 86th Street and 3rd Avenue. It's the 3rd on Lexington, 3rd Avenue. This is you, like I said, if you are ordering online, be sure to use my code. I hope it's still active. If it's still active, I'm going to order some stuff for myself because I love this and I always like to have chocolate in the house for when I get that craving and then I typically put this in the fridge because I love when my chocolate is cold again looking for healthy chocolate this is the one that I recommend you guys check out do let me know if you guys have tried them before but that's it guys I'm really gonna go for tonight Welcome to my kitchen. This morning we are making a ginger shot. Like I told you guys, I consume a shot of ginger every morning religiously. I've started doing this since April, I believe, and it changed my gut. It changed everything for me. I was telling you guys how I used to suffer from bloating so much. It's to the point where on the days where i had to shoot i couldn't eat for the entire day even if i drink water or whatever i would just get so bloated and i think it resulted in years from you know like taking some medication for my endometriosis that wreaked havoc on my gut i've looked for so many remedies nothing has worked this is the first thing that ever ever worked for me is the ginger shot with the glutamine powder you can just pick whatever works for you it doesn't have to be this one i'm trying out different ones to see you know what's better because last month i had the one from stack essentials and i really like that one and then when it went when i went out i'm trying out this brand what is this brand nutri cost just go with whatever brand you want to it doesn't necessarily have to be what i am using now i am cleaning out my ginger again most people don't clean their ginger you know you can do it with the skin but again i'm caribbean we just don't do anything with the skin on it so much pesticide that gets sprayed onto a food the last thing that i would do is to actually consume the skin of something also to me the skin is dirty so i do not want to consume the skin but when it comes to this and like this i don't think the skin does anything i know some of you are gonna be like that skin has so many benefits it doesn't there's no benefit on the skin i can promise you that maybe the gingers we had a hundred years ago but not these <laughs> I have to do all of that i've seen people on tiktok just take the ginger wash it and then boom use it with the skin but that can never be me again i'm not judging them by any chance it's just that's just how i am i know some people have different methods for removing the skin like like i was showing you you can actually do the spoon method the spoon method work but 
it's not my favorite i still prefer the knife it gives me more control i just feel with the spoon i don't necessarily have control of the ginger there's no measurements you just eyeball it you're just gonna use a handful of ginger and then even with the water i don't necessarily measure it depends on how much ginger you're doing then that goes based on the water For the week so i use my neutral bullet to do it i do have a juicer so i am not looking for recommendation about juicers and i have a juicer this is what i like to use my neutral bullet and this size is for my ginger shot i do find the neutral bullet works perfectly for me i do enjoy this little process that i do i know it's probably longer than the way some people make it but i don't mind it as you saw i just put the glutamine powder in there some people the way that they do it they make the ginger shot and then they just put them in the little shot glasses or uh, bottles and then put them in the fridge and then they drink one every morning but this is the way that i do it the way that i do it is i take a shot like the size of a shot of a ginger shot i put the powder and then i dilute it with some water this way works for me perfectly and i'm okay with that You don't crave coffee or you don't necessarily crave anything else you just go about your day feeling pumped up and ready when i take my ginger shot like i said i typically wait like an hour or two to drink coffee sometimes even three sometimes i just forget about it completely because you don't crave anything else Best I finished my ginger shot over here it's been an hour now I was on FaceTime with my niece for like an hour now I can go and have my coffee I didn't realize how toxic it was all these years me drinking coffee on an empty stomach it's to the point where sometimes I would just feel like heart palpitations have like that anxious feeling to a point where I couldn't even drink strong coffee and I love strong and black coffee which is why I've kind of like switched to drinking coffee with milk drinking coffee on an empty stomach it's one of the most toxic thing you can do for your body please 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 always start your day with some water don't get me wrong i'm the biggest coffee lover i'm not telling you not to drink coffee i'm not one of those if someone is telling me not to drink coffee i am unsubscribing i am muting i am hiding you don't ever come to my face and tell me not to drink drinking coffee that we're not doing no thank you what i'm saying is drinking it on an empty stomach it's not the best thing that you could do for your body always start your day with some water and some lemon or some apple cider vinegar or something and then you can go and have your coffee now that i've had my ginger shot for like the past hour let's go make coffee shall we it was so fun just chatting with my niece today i was just asking her because you know she's going to like a new school if you guys know i don't know if i even talked about it on here but you guys know that my sister-in-law passed away um back in june it's just so so hard for me to like you know to talk about like I think about her every day like and every day I cry every morning every night I think about her and every time I go to my phone I see a picture of my niece I think about her it's just like it, it's honestly it's just been it's just been really really hard you know to think about my niece not growing up with her mom and having those precious moments just it's unfair I'm asking God like what is the reason like it's just not fair at all.
so delicious the dulce typically i like the complete the completa i love coffee that reminds me of being in the caribbean i'm really big on coffee and i drink black coffee without sugar for years so we have this video when we went to oaxaca to the coffee farm to so actually show you how coffee is made it actually takes about nine months for coffee to be made it's kind of like the same thing as carrying a baby the video is gonna go up soon as i was saying i love coffee that reminds me of being home like coffee from different places tastes a different way like coffee from the caribbean or latin america they taste a different way Complita, feels like i'm home it just feels it tastes homey to me so i love that one cuban is my favorite one but the cuban is always sold out so you kind of have to wait for when they bring it back in stock you need to get a bunch of them i don't have the cuban one that's fine there was another one that i liked also i think but the cuban is like my number one favorite i am back guys i am finally ready I am going to try to clean over here. I'm going to set myself for success and actually clean over there. I'm going to show you the before. <laughs> I don't know if I could even show you guys because it looks so bad. I'm back in this Michael Stars tank top. This is one side. My jeans are from Air. They're probably one of my favorite pair from Air. It is so nice. And then also the length. I really love the length of these because the other ones are cropped. Because I feel sometimes the crops can make me look a little bit cropped. It can crop me out. Really, really love this. Oh my goodness, my bum used to look so good in this when I was doing my Brazilian bum workouts. And then now we are back. I mean, I still have a little bit of muscle memory. But, but now, because I don't have big boobs anymore, I don't necessarily care to really have a butt. I can look all flat. I am okay with that. The only reason why I wanted a little bit of a shape before was because my breast was a little bit too big. And then when you turn around, it just didn't look good. Now, my back looks fine. Except what happened because, uh, as he told us in Matthew 24, Jesus' breast said to him, Lord, who 
the space it looks so much better even though over there i mean it's not a mess because i put everything on the rack so i'm just figuring out how i'm gonna break up the the haul because it's just too much clothes to do a haul it will just be an hour long so i'm not gonna do that all the k dupes i'm gonna put them into a video i clean the space as you can see I am selling this article chair. Do let me know if any of you are interested in buying this. It just doesn't go with the vibe in here. When I bought this chair, I bought it because I was desperate. Back in January, February, when I moved, I don't know if you guys know, but everything was back ordered for until August. Nothing was really available. Even my couch didn't come in until like three months later. I had to cancel my order and just order this one on a whim. Not necessarily on a whim, but I just had to cancel my couch because I had waited three months for my couch and I just couldn't wait anymore. So I canceled my order and bought this one instead. And I'm so happy I ended up with this one because this one is actually perfect. This chair is too casual for my liking. I just don't like the legs. It's just and then the boucle, it's not the same color. The boucle, it's more kind of like oatmeal than off-white. I prefer the off-white. It's just, just looking at it in general, it just gives up a more casual look. I think I paid, and it was way too expensive. I honestly should have gotten one from Target for like $300. That's what I should have done, but I was stuck in my head that, oh, I didn't want to buy the same chair that I had in my last apartment. But I should have just bought the same chair that I had in my last apartment because it would have fit with the apartment here. Even though here it's a little bit more modern, still a little bit vintage Parisian, but a little bit more modern. So if you guys are interested, I am selling this chair for, how much should I sell it for? Because I paid 600 for it, I believe. So um, I could sell it for 400 or DM me, send me an email, or you know, let me know. Pick up on me in New York City. Have it go to a home that is better. Actually, I have a friend who has it in her apartment and it goes so well with everything in her apartment because her style is more that LA neutral. It goes so well with her apartment and her decor, but it just doesn't go because I feel like my decor is a little bit more dressy and I need two accent chairs. So I'm thinking, I'm just gonna get those cassowary do they like two of them you get two of them for 900 so i'm gonna get those instead and it's just gonna look so so good over here and then i need to get a bigger rug or oh, what i'm thinking is actually have a different rug just to kind of like mix and match it i don't know i'm thinking of trying that i was thinking we're purchasing this rug in a 10 by 10 or actually get an all white my problem with all white rug it's a little bit difficult to kind of like work with them especially for me i'm always even though i keep my white super white but i'm always working on my world and i don't want to be too careful i want to be able to use my things let me know if you guys are interested in this chair because i would love for it to go to someone else that would enjoy it more lagos if you guys know the 90s are back one thing that was very hot in the 90s was silver jewelry and you guys know i am a gold girl through and through i don't have anything silver these are not silver these are platinum or white gold i'm not sure i forgot to pick out something actually maria picked up these really cute hoops i wanted something with some texture that was super cute but still have a little bit of the yellow gold because as much as i want to have a little bit of silver jewelry to my wardrobe i'm still a gold girl i'm still stuck I wanted something that still had a little bit of the yellow gold in them because i do find myself now when i wear you know sparkles especially the silver it's all in right now when I wear those kind of outfits and my jewelry kind of like doesn't match. I got these. These are just so stunning. They are so beautiful. I think you guys will have to see them during the day because I'm not sure if this is giving them. I think that's it. I'm going to eat something. I'm going to warm up the soup. Bonjour. It is lundi. It's Monday. And today I wanted to... It's, it's so funny how when you tell your brain that you want to do something and your brain is going to do exactly that. 
So what I do is before I go to bed, I tell myself what time I want to wake up the next day and I always <laughs> wake up at that time without fail because that's the instruction you give your brain i did say i wanted to wake up at 6 30. i did wake up at 6 30 and then i was just like mm, since i went to bed really late i went to bed around like two o'clock <laughs> but i thought mm, let me just sleep for an extra hour so i took my ginger shot and then now it's 10 30 i haven't had my coffee yet and that's a great thing about taking your ginger shot you don't necessarily crave anything now i'm gonna have my coffee and i'm so excited it's like having my coffee in the morning it's my favorite part of the day i look forward to that moment so so much you guys have no idea actually it's one of the things that i always write in my five minute journal where i do my gratitude journal so one of the things that i'm grateful for every morning it's my morning coffee such a special time for me and to sit down and just like savor everything and think about how my day is going to go i just got some exciting news uh, that sunday i'd already been in paris this t-shirt is the same one that i have in white i actually bought two of it from jku because i love it so much i have a jku order that's coming today is this apron style dress that i've been stalking for literally two months now at the time it was over a hundred something dollars right i'm like god loves me so much <laughs> like honestly i was not able to find it and then randomly the other day i got an email i checked and it was like oh size two is available i went in and ordered it guess what it was on sale so i ended up paying 30 dollars for the dress it makes me so happy which is why sometimes when i cannot find something in my size that i'm looking for or really want i don't stress about it because i'm just like the perfect what i tell myself is just like the perfect opportunity is working itself out in my favor life and death is in the power of the tongue and i wish you guys would speak good things over your life all the time never say that you broke you this and you that whatever you do not want to attract into your life don't ever put it after the word i am see i thought it was back in the days when i used to be such a negative person i used to think it was woo woo nonsense you know like when people are so happy and grateful and i'm just like i used to roll my eyes and i'm just like Ugh. but guys believe me when i tell you the minute you switch your mindset your life will become so easy and sometimes i'm just like i just live in the alternate universe but god has given me and everything being grateful just like changes everything for you having a positive mindset and speaking positive things over your life i don't watch tv i'm the type of person i don't read things i don't follow people that i don't necessarily enjoy their content i live in this bubble of like happiness and honestly it's the best thing for me for my mental health i stay away from anything that does not serve me that does not put me in a good mood that does not make me happy i mean of course there are moments where i need to be aware of what's going on in the world but i take really bite-sized information even books i'm very careful about the books that i read if i'm reading a book it has to be about self-help something that's gonna help me or something it's about the life that i want to live one day even tv your mind is so susceptible. think about your diet eat food right if you want to stay healthy you want to eat healthy food your mind is the same way so you have to be careful what you feed it and one of the biggest way you ingesting is by listening and also seeing your eyes it's like the biggest way you manifest things into your life which is why i don't watch certain shows that's why sometimes when you watch certain shows you feel so depressed you sad you this you that i don't listen to any song that is sad especially for me naturally i love sad songs and when i what i used to find when i used to listen to sad song it would just put me into this depressed mindset for like weeks even though i enjoy sad song i just can't listen to them because it's just gonna put me it's just gonna ruin the vibe movies if it's not a comedy or like romantic i don't watch it because i'm not gonna watch anything that's gonna bring me down i don't watch horror movie i'm pretty sure some of you probably like oh it's a little bit extreme sure it's extreme but then again it works for me i'm happy in this little bubble that i live in my jeans are the jordash jeans they do run big this is the smallest size and they still kind of like falls on me but then again i don't mind that look this is the kind of look that i like anyways um i really like them actually i couldn't find them on the website to link for you guys but i'm gonna see if i can find them and my shoes are my house shoes that i always wear these are the gracie slides from fit flop honestly fit flop makes my favorite house shoes this is something you can actually wear outside but it's so comfy and i'm like i don't want to wear it outside let's go make my coffee
hello there i just finished filming the haul and i've changed back into the white tee and those jeans honestly the white tee and the denim it's my uniform as a fleet like can i warm up my food and then i'll clean up Walmart package and I wanted to show you the new jeans that I bought these are called the full wide the full wide straight high rise because I love a high rise and these are only $30 and what I love about free assembly jeans which you can find on Walmart they make my legs look so long they make me look so tall which I absolutely love I don't know there's a way to cut them and they're probably one of my favorite jeans in the entire world i think jeans and i'm traveling soon what am i wearing hey guys remember that little sparkly top that i bought from shein because i knew that i was gonna have the breast reduction and then i'll be able to wear it then because like i said i want fun little top like this to just wear like a nighttime or even to go to like an event but mostly for like dinner time if i don't want to wear like the dress this could be a look that i wear like just regular high waist pants or even some denim yeah but my boobs i feel like i've gotten a little bit too big i'm like girlies can we go back down because this is not it it is about 5 30 now and it is pouring outside and i love when it pours when it's raining it's one of my favorite sound ever I went to 1945 745 right am I right yes I am right I'm really gonna cut down the flowers that Maria got me she got me a dozen white roses and some baby's breath I love 